Uh, now let's look at question 29 on the plant growing simulation um, preparation worksheet. If the user enters minus one at the start of the program, then the simulation runs on a year by year basis. This is the stepping mode. The program is to be altered so that the simulation can run for a maximum of 25 years. Update the simulation subroutine so that if the user chooses to step through the simulation, the simulation ends once 25 years have been displayed. A message should be displayed to confirm. So it's basically limiting the stepping mode so it can't go beyond the 25th year. Um, one thing to note is this is showing the solution to a previous question, but in the exam, all questions should be independent of each other. So that's why I'm making a new file each time. So this won't show this message. It will um, only show the, the, the 25th year maximum message. Uh, so again, we need to change simulation. And this time, the, the way the program works is years to run gives us a number. And if it's minus one, um, then this is stepping mode. So this else block says, okay, if we haven't been given um, at least one year to run like a specified amount, then let's execute this else block. Um, and this is the bit that we now need to change. We need to change while continuing. So because we've already got a flag in this loop because the user chooses when to break out of the loop to like end the stepping mode, um, we could just decide, okay, what's now another circumstance in which continuing needs to become false. So we've already got a variable year that is counting the years. So we can just change this to there's another circumstance in which continuing should become false. And that's when the 25th year was reached. Um, so let's say or year is equal to 25 and continuing will become false. What might, more, might make more sense? Uh, let's do it like this. So now we're going to need to repeat the condition because we want to only print 25th year was reached if that was the actual case. So we might want to say here like if year ended on 25, then print 25th year was reached. All right, let's test it. Let's see if it works. So that was question 29. And I've got some sort of indentation error. So I've been typing tabs, but the, the existing code was encoded using spaces. So I need to match that. I can't have. Okay. That works. So let's enter stepping mode. Let's say no. And you keep running the simulation. What we should see now is after 25 years, we see the message to say that the 25th year was reached and that the program exits. Okay. So this would be the evidence that you need, uh, both showing that we got to the 25th year and then that the message after the 25th year was printed and the simulation ends.